we're getting ready to start another job here today, so we got to get our silt fence up at the perimeter of the job site. We want this thing to be downgrade of all our disturbed areas so that any erosion that happens is going to get trapped here. This isn't necessarily a real easy task. Here we've got evidence of some really hard ground. We're not able to get the wood posts in all the way. We're having to beef this silt fence up with some extra metal T-posts in places. And you'll see in order to get the fabric down to the proper depth in the ground here, we've actually had to lower this fabric on the post. The post will only be driven in so far. We need to have that fabric trenched in, compacted, and embedded in there so we don't get any blowouts, washouts, or piping through the toe of this thing. So we want to get a good embed on this fabric. We don't want this to be able to pull out as it gets loaded with the water. So we're putting our posts in, we're tight to the back of the trench, putting the rock backfill in, packing it down, doing a nice smooth job. This particular silk fence has the post sewn in the pocket. That means each post is stitched into its own pocket right here. Remember, we always want our fabric on the uphill side or the job site side of the soil disturbance. Um, we don't want the pressure building up against these silk fences to be able to just peel this fabric right off of the uh, post. When we're sewn in pocket, this is the correct method of installation. The sediment's going to be on this side of this fence. If there's pressure, it makes this seam tighter around the post. Okay, just making the seam tighter. If we installed this 180 degrees backwards, the pressure would want to tear the seam apart and just throw the fabric right off of the post. This is the correct means of installation for the sewn-in-pocket silk fence product.